using precise 3D data from the server. We can now drain the waters of Bikini Atoll to reveal the grotesque and shocking remains of the USS Gilead. A whole ship has been flattened. Where once she measured 70 feet from the top of her masts, she's now been squashed to a third of that height. One mast is missing, and the other lies smashed on the seabed. The steel gunnels droop over the ship's sides, and the hull has melted in folds like loose sailcloth. All the scientific instruments on board the Gillian were smashed or melted in the blast. But data from other ships further out survives. Yeah, this pressure there. So pressure and then to do your tile correction. Using this data and information from historical records, we can reveal exactly what happens to the Gillian. Before the ABLE test, Bikini Atoll is home to 167 people, most living on the main island. But their lives are about to change forever. The United States government wants to attempt to turn this into something good for mankind. In the weeks before detonation, the islanders are evacuated. And their island is turned into a test bed. But this isn't just a military experiment. This is theater. Operation Crossroads was designed to test the bomb publicly, to invite observers from all over the world, to film it, to broadcast it live via radio and show the world just what the bomb could do. It was meant to be a media spectacular. The explosions will be filmed by hundreds of cameras, using half the film stock in the entire world. The time has come to send the atom bomb by air to bikini. The most explosive experiment in history is about to begin. At 5.55 a.m., the B-29 bomber Dave's Dream takes off from Kwajalein Air Base, 200 miles away. Her only cargo is the Able bomb. Exploded about 500 feet above Gilliam and basically flash melted. In less than a second, the fireball strikes and the Gilliam grows hotter than the surface of the sun. The steel sides of the ship start to melt. Blast pressure from above crushes the ship down, causing it to lose buoyancy and start sinking. The white-hot steel is then quenched by the water as it solidifies into its final misshapen form. 